So my plan for this game, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hole breaker into stride breaker. I'll probably be testing this build all day today. It's mainly what I want to test out. Oh yeah, the tooltip is bugged on stride breaker. Not in game, but in the in the item set thing, it's bugged. In game it's fine. Looks like they just forgot to update it. So we're playing against a Garen with Ignite. D shield start. Honestly, kind of just a farm lane early, so I'm okay with it. What's the build path on this thing? Pickaxe. Oh, wait, it's Shen. Uh, Garen ADC, I guess? That's going to be so struggle into Kaelin Senna. Oh, he pulled the wave, so I might miss one. Rip. I should have gave a little bit of a shorter leash. I'm okay with that trade. I want to do something right away with bone plating. Try to get some value out of it. My level 1 is just better than Shen as well. Cane jungle. They got a weird team comp, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen Garen Yumi before, but I've never seen Garen Seraphine. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Come late game, that'll be really interesting. I'm gonna skip out on the call. I'm just gonna try to go for pickaxe on my first back. Just so I can get hole breaker just right away. Do some good limit testing with it. Okay, maybe I will go for call. That's his ignite. Honestly, I have time to back here, so that's really good. Yeah, I went coop this game because uh, I thought I was going to be against Garen. I don't really like last stand into Garen. Because on top of his ignite, ignite ulti is just so much true damage once you get low. Like, you don't really, you don't benefit from last stand. You still do out of lane, but in lane it's just not the best. But they ended up juking me anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh god, that's not good. Alright, let's just make sure we get this wave. Yeah, not the best of plays. He got a lot of orbs off me. We did get Shen Flash out of that, so that is something. Oh my god, there's so many pings going on right now. Dude, look at my map. There's so many pings. I've never seen that many pings in my life. He's trying to angle his blade to get on me there. I'm just trying to stay away from it. You don't want to be like in its path. Cloud Dragon, I wish I was an ocean. If I farm perfectly here, I should be able to get pickaxe. Oh no, I'm gonna get ganked. 
Wow, he's not pulling the wave. That's so good for me. All right, we're just going to have to wait a little bit for pickaxe. Hundred and fifty base health regen. Let's just make sure I don't have to TP here. That should be good. His wave's gonna stack up here. Uh let me see here. Let me read this real quick. While no allied champions are nearby you, gain twenty, forty five armor. Oh god, I'm at the TP. I mean, he could, he could have just ran out. Maybe we can save him. I'm not level six though. Oh, I get six here. Oh, big snipe. Big snipe, dude. And I catch this whole wave. This is so good. Wave is pushing to me. He's going to lose cannon wave. Oh my god, it's so good. 1920. I might be able to get this on my next back, dude. Honestly. I got a lot of gold off that play. Can set up a little freeze here as well, probably. Aw, melees. No, you're supposed to go on me. Kane is bot side. He has form already? Oh my god. I gave him so many orbs on that 1v1. I'm curious what the range on Hullbreaker is. Like, it doesn't say. It just says nearby allied. Like, what's the range on it, I wonder? I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it has, like, hopefully it has a range when you hover over it. Kane should be around bot mid still. Against Shan, it's really sketchy to try to auto turret here because he can just taunt me. Kind of don't even want to mess with it. He just missed another cannon. Oh my god, he is up here. Mm, I'm a goner. Yeah, that's the thing with Blue Cane is like he can get across the map so quick. All right, I guess we'll get it on our next back. Oh, you can ping the item to see if someone is close to you. Okay, that's interesting. It's weird how it doesn't say the range. I feel like it should. I'm a TP for this actually. I do not want to fall behind. Level 9 will be really good for me. I mean, level 9 is always good for a god, but especially against Shen, it's just easier to play around as W when you have the toggle. Ah, it's an air ball. Got it. Well, we got it. Maybe they can dragon. I feel like definitely a Merc Tread game. They don't really have like an auto attacker. If we get dragon, this trade is not bad at all. Cause I can get I can get turret off. Ah, eh, I can't get turret actually. I can get a lot of plates though. Okay, that's not bad. That's honestly not bad.
Uh, large minions would be like cannon minions. An enemy has been Definitely cannon minions and maybe super minions. I'm not sure. Do super minions count in there? I feel like they probably do. I know cannons for sure. Okay, everyone's bot, so we're just gonna drop this dude. Let's just get some plates. Eight twenty-five. Honestly, might just take another back. Took kind of a lot of damage there, but that's worth it for the plates. All right, dude. Let's see this thing in action. Oh, so it does. It does show the range. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay. Man, that's crazy. So you do increased damage to turrets, and your minions also do too, or at least your large minions. And it makes them tankier, and it makes you tankier. <laughs> Let's see my stats here. Mm, I don't want to miss cannon. And I mean the stats are good. 50 AD, 300 health, base HP region. Like if you're rushing this first item, the HP region is kind of nice. 150 percent, I think is what I think that's what Gore Drinker gives you too. Look how tanky I am, dude. I actually felt tankier there. No joke. Do we go for the dive? He has ulti still, right? Oh my god, dude. I actually forgot about Shed ulti. I'm not even gonna lie. We good, we good. Okay, dude. I don't know. I'm liking this thing already. Merc treads. What are we doing? Stride breaker test? What's the cooldown on Stride now? Oh, still 15 seconds. So 90% slow, decaying over 3 seconds. It doesn't show... I think it decays to like 40%. I don't know why it doesn't show that. Their tooltips are so weird. I'm pretty sure it decays down to 40%. Might try to go. Actually, he doesn't have ulti. That's right. Alright, so my cannon should be buffed. Oh, yeah. It's even got like an effect, too. Oh, we missed. Also, she's ruining my whole breaker. Not gonna lie, I don't really know why she's up here, but maybe we can kill him. Are we going for this? 22. I can sell my call. Uh, 
Oh, true. I need one more wave. Okay, that should be good. I hope they're not rushing it. They're trying. Oh, that ward just died. Dude, I killed him with the stride there. How much damage does it do? 220. Wait, I think they buffed the damage. I think the active actually does more damage. I could be wrong, but 220 seems like a lot. The nice thing about Stride too is it gives a it gives 400 HP now, so you're actually kind of tanky. At least compared to the old Stride, like it's on par with like Gore Drinker, which I actually really like. Nice, that Shen ulti down too. I wonder if I can use Stride on minions. Let's see. Oh, wait, it just goes off right away? Oh, okay, I see. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. So that's the range, it just goes around you, so it's like a, it's like the iron spike active. I see, I thought it was still like an active you use on someone. I want to go split push, dude. There's nowhere to split. Or he's doing my job right now. Okay, so you want to use E Stride Breaker in most cases. Okay, that's interesting, actually. Hmm. That's going to take some getting used to, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of nice though, I guess. Like you don't have to use your E to actually get on people now. You can just use it to like get to them, you know? And then you can just hit him with the stride slow and then just kill him without even landing your E. Keep going, we got the Shelly. They have these like super long range mages. <laughs> I can't even get in distance with E. They're got struggles. Oh, you can use it while E? Oh yeah, you kind of can. You still get the base movement speed on auto attacks too, or just physical damage in general. Uh, let's go let's go Titanic. I want to go for like a split push build. We can just split bar right now for sure. We got top pressure. Team can just uh, pressure Baron. Yeah, I'm not sure about Strud. It's nice that it gives 400 HP though for sure. You do have a lot of HP and damage with this build, which is what I like. If there's any builds I like on Urga, it's always HP and damage, man. I like to have that damage. The armor and MR scales too. 93 armor to the cannon? Holy moly. Wait, he has a stride breaker too. Yeah. 
I'm a little bit scared he has backup. Yeah, any physical damage should trigger Stride Breaker. At least that heroic passive, yeah. Heroic gate. I've never said the name of that passive. <laughs> Right, let's pick up an Ocean Soul. They're probably going to fight for this. I feel like they have to. Oh. I can't get to anyone. Well, this isn't good. I'm just going to get out of here. This is not good. Uh, we'll sell that. Man, I botched the E flash. No, we do. We we still got this. We still got this. Gore versus Stride. It does seem pretty situational, yeah. The thing that's nice about Hullbreaker, though, is, like, the stats aren't even bad. Like, even if you're not getting the passive, the stats are not bad. 50 damage is really good. And then everything gives HP for your Titanic, too. So it flows well with Titanic. Hey, I'm ready, dude. We should try to make a little bit... A little bit used to this Baron here. Mm. I kind of want to get bought, to be honest. It's just too hard against Zera. I will say it's really nice that you can just use the active while like moving. Like, it flows really nicely, actually. Trina's, dude, yeah, Trina's gonna be crazy with Hallbreaker. There's a lot of champions that I feel like are maybe gonna come back in the meta, like Trin, Nasus, Yerik. Which, a lot of those matchups I do actually like, except for Trindamir. So, I guess it could be okay. I guess we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. I don't know. Honestly, the item feels good on Ergot, though. Like, the thing about Ergot, it's like, yeah, you do want to be team fighting, but he's also, if you have TP up, you're split pushing a lot of the time. Like, Ergot is a good split pusher. Not a lot of people can 1v1 him. I'm gonna get some MR going. That's really all we need here. I think a stone plate is just gonna be nasty in this build, as fourth item. I have 165 of both resists, exactly. Nice, I'll get the mid push going. Yeah, Cleaver will be final item for sure. I think Visage could be a possibility too with the uh, Ocean Soul if we get it. But probably Cleaver. Seems good with our team comp. We got 3 AD. This cannon minion's doing work, dude. It's so tanky. Dude, that's actually... That's so broken. Do you see how much damage it did to turret? 
Oh, this doesn't look too good. He still has ulti? Wait, he still has ulti? Zareth got my shutdown. Dude, this is such, they have such a good team comp against me. Like, Zara, Seraphine are always just like three screens away. They have to decide which one they want, though. They're probably going to go for, yeah, they're going to go Ocean for sure. God, if we get Ocean Soul, this game gets so easy. I do have TP. I feel like they just rush it though, man. If he can suicide steal. Uh, I think we should have just went Baron. Hmm. I think I just have to hard split bot here. Please don't fight, guys. I want to see their faces when I I just have to put on pressure right now. It's the best thing I can do. Contesting that is going to be very difficult. Maybe my team can though. I'm just gonna go for inhibs. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. If my team can just cancel ports, I can triple inhib maybe. Enemy I'm just gonna go for it. Even if we die, it's worth. Man, they didn't cancel the ports. Double one hit is still good. Hopefully they can't do too much with Baron. Our best bet is just to stall for Ocean Soul right now. Just try to stall the game out. Dude, the Hullbreaker is feeling good, guys. It really is. Four, dude, 4,000 bonus damage to towers. 4,000 bonus damage. That's insane. All right, do I want to go Cleaver? That is the question. Seems good to me. I mean, I have to split push, dude. The fights are uneven. <laughs> like someone gets caught every time. This guy's blaming me for splitting, but like I have to split, literally. Like look, someone dies every time. My team is completely losing their mentals. Try to hold mid. I still have stone plate. Let's 
Dude, I wish I had TP so bad I could end the game. Oh my god, it's not recalling. Someone canceled me. They're panic TPing. Alright, we pushed Todd for drag. That's what we do here for sure. Honestly, we play for drag, guys. We play for drag. There's no way we don't play for dragon. Oh my god, I have to type too. Come on, guys. Why is Ori going top? Please. Oh yeah, it does buff the super minion too. Confirmed. Alright, I got level 18. Gonna need it. What the heck? Okay, that should be good, dude. Xerath is carrying them in team fights. That should be really good. They're losing base to the supers too, man. Nice. Whew, good job. This game, dude, this game is way too intense, man. Holy smokes, dude. Can my team end here? Inhibs are gonna respawn. Dude, Inhib is gonna respawn. Oh my god, god bless. GG's man, holy moly. Well, I'm definitely uploading that one on the YouTube, so uh, yeah, drop a like, guys. <laughs> that game was crazy, man. That was my first game of this patch, too. Very first game. And that was uh, that was some good testing. Hullbreaker feels insane. Stride feels okay. I need, I need more testing with Stride, honestly. But uh, Hullbreaker feels insane, man. Uh, I don't even know who to give it to. I was just so focused on myself that game. I'll give it to Ori, I guess. Holy moly, all that for 14 LP, dude. 27k damage. Yeah, we had like four, we had over 4,000 bonus damage on Hullbreaker. That's insane, dude. And the stats are just good, too. I really like Hullbreaker. I'm going to be spamming this for a little bit. I'll keep testing, dude, but I, I really like that. Like, that feels good. That feels really good.